What's good, grind schoolers? It's your boy Rob, and we back in the shop today. Uh, today is officially the day that we are going to spray the Elko. I'm excited about it. Um, it's been a long time coming. Uh, I know you guys have been waiting to see it um, officially sprayed. We're officially gonna spray the car today. Um, there's still obviously some things that obviously we gotta do um, before we actually complete uh, the paint and stuff like that. But anyways, there will be color on the car today in this video, um, color clear, and we gonna see. Hopefully I can lay it down as flat as I possibly can get it, man, because I've done so much work and time and effort and energy just spending on the body work, getting everything as perfect as possible. Man, if you look at this car in person, like I know y'all see it in the videos, but if you look at it in person, how straight this car is, man, it's it's on a whole totally different type of level and i'm so um i'm so like impressed with the level of work that i was able to do this is my very 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 first car that i've ever done this to so you know what i'm saying for me to be able to 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 knock that out man i feel so so proud of myself you know what i'm saying not to gas myself up or nothing like that but i'm just saying yo like the level of detail that gone in, that has gone into this car Man, you know what I'm saying? This is what everybody that pays for work should get out of that work. But anyways, man, um, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Rockshot Warren. I definitely appreciate you, big dog, uh, for uh, lacing me with the game on how to do my trans cooler lines because um, I've been racking my brain trying to figure out how to do it. There's two things wrong with this car other than the suspension that prevent me from like really driving it like that. Um, and they're both fire hazards. One is my... Uh, my um, fill filter, my glass fill filter. And number two is how my trans cooler lines run over the header. Um, I need to fix both of those issues before I can get in and drive and do whatever I gotta do. Um, I do ride with a fire extinguisher for those purposes. Um, that's mandatory. Like any old school car, whatever, even in my Impala, you know what I'm saying? Nothing's really been done to it, but I'm not taking no chances. Um, I had a homie that his car done burnt up and like right in front of us. And I had a fire extinguisher in my car, but couldn't get the hood open to spray it. You know what I'm saying? Because we were just too late. But anyways, it is what it is. Um, and you know, we gonna, we gonna lay it down. And shout out to Sprayway, man. I definitely appreciate you too. Uh, today's comment comes from Sprayway. Definitely appreciate you, bro. Um, and all the game that you lace us with, that's what's been able to make this even possible in the first place. Um, you know what I'm saying? Just watching his videos, learning a game from him. And that's pretty much really like all I did to learn all of this stuff was just watching videos from other people. Um, and more specifically Sprayway, you know what I'm saying? Because he lays it down, um, all the videos, everything that you need in his content is exactly how I was able to get this car to the level that it's at. You know what I'm saying? A hundred percent. Nobody came in here with a magnifying glass told me do this, do that, do this, do that. You know what I'm saying? Nobody has even stepped foot in his garage except for Dash and that's it. You know what I'm saying? And told me anything that I needed to, needed to do differently other than, you know what I'm saying, Dash. He's the only one that's been in his garage like telling me, you know, you might want to do this or do that. That's it, you know what I'm saying? And we both just learning together at the same time. So it's like, you know what I mean? You know, he finds something out. Cool, lace me with that game. I find something out, lace him with the game, whatever, however it goes, you know what I'm saying? Whatever our conversations, uh, however our conversations go, that's how it go. But anyways, shout out to Sprayway, man. Definitely appreciate all the videos that you drop and showing, you know what I'm saying? Like the community love, um, because you know, you don't have to do that. So I definitely appreciate you. But anyways, man, let's go ahead and jump into this video. I'm gonna show y'all what we got moving and we gonna get some color on this car. Oh, before we do that, I forgot to say, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you get a notification every single time we drop another video. Um, and I say that because the Impala's up next. We're gonna paint the Impala. After the Impala's done, um, 
the Elko in the meantime, in between time, should uh, get the LS built for it and we'll do the rear end for it uh, while we're doing the Impala. So the whole summer, the Impala is not gonna be out this summer. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't even gonna hold y'all. Like, it'll be out like in the neighborhood, but it ain't going to no shows or nothing like that. Um, that's preserved for the Elko, but the Impala, we just gonna work on it. We gonna take our time with it. You know what I'm saying? There's not really that much that need to be done to it, but you know what I mean? It is what it is. But anyways, man, we gonna go ahead and um, jump to the video and uh, see what we got moving today. All right, y'all. Uh, I got the car all masked up. Excuse me. Um, This side, I did my quality check. Make sure there's no metal spots that I'm missing, no pinholes. Um, make sure there's no like rough uh, orange pilly areas. It looks like my tape kind of fell off the bed a little bit, but we'll fix that. Um, so this side is 100% ready to go, ready to spray. Um, I got my jams masked up. You know what I mean? I got my, my foam tape in here. I done sand it in here to try to get that edge, you know, nice and how it needs to be. So that, you know, when the paint gets up in there, uh, it doesn't go on top of the clear. It goes on top of paint. And then when I clear it, it'll be all good. Um, I got, I still got a, a mask up underneath this wheel well a little bit better. I just got the tire masked up. I really don't care about the tires, but whatever. Um, I got my uh, foam tape in between here as well. Um, so we got to get that all squared away, all taken care of. Um, and then I rough this up too. Um, so we pretty much, you know, we pretty much good to go. Uh, got the hood all sanded back down. Only thing I got to do on this side of the car is just clean it um, with my, my prep spray. So we're going to clean it with the, the prep spray. We're going to seal it. Um, so everybody that's asking me, am I going to seal it? Yes, there is going to be sealant first. Then after the sealant, we're going to lay down the paint and the clear. So um, we're going to do this all in one day just because uh, with the whole color situation, the color and the clear got to go on the same day. And, you know, the uh, the sealant only is going to take like one coat. So we'll be good to go. We'll spray the sealant, let that dry, and then we'll go ahead and start smacking the paint on there. And y'all will see this thing and some color finally man um and i'm gonna put up a, a picture of what the car looked like before it got to this level um so i'll show y'all the, the the very first day that i got the car um and it's come a very long way a very 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 long way um just within the last i say about four months um i started sanding the car down and like doing body work and stuff like that last summer uh, but I, I wasn't like grinding on it as hard as I am now. Like I've been out here day in, day out, weekends, all that type of stuff. But then also too, you know what I'm saying? Like um, I've had other focuses trying to get my house together and all that kind of stuff. But now I actually had the time to really actually grind on it. So anyways, man, we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, get the rest of the car, the other side of the car. I'll show you all what I'm talking about. Um, so we got to um, wet sand the rest of the, like where you see the blue tape. That was my quality check. I walked around the car, made sure that I didn't miss any areas. And where you see the blue tape are the areas that um, need some more like wet sanding. Um, and then also down here, I found uh, quite a few pinholes. Uh, so I like covered those up. And then there was a situation going on here where I sanded down the guy coat and everything was solid everything was good um you know like the guy coat sanded off and everything was solid but then when i went to go wipe uh the wet sand you could see like an indention here and an indention there and we can't rock like that because paint hides nothing so you know what i'm saying we're really taking our time man we're really taking our time and really like going over this car so thoroughly so that you know what i'm saying when i lay this paint down there's no discrepancies at all. You know what I mean? We getting it done. So anyways, man, uh, we gonna go ahead and um, continue to work on all these areas. It shouldn't take me too long. That side didn't take long at all. I just have a few areas that I just need to wet sand and get the uh, the uh, orange peel or whatever out. Um, and then uh, just sand down back there and we're good to go. Hit it with the 320. Um, West End, everything should be good to go. Everything's masked up. I just got to mask that tire up or that 
put that wheel up, wheel well up, uh, mass this wheel well up, and then she'll be ready to spray. And we're not gonna spray until it's like 60 degrees in here, so I got plenty of time to kind of wet sand and stuff. And then, once this is painted, you already know what's up. We got the QA1 going on, and I'll be mad happy to get this on so I can get all this mess up out of my corner right here. Um, Cause once this is on, all that stuff will be out of there and we'll be good to go. So yeah, man, um, we are indeed working. Got the back masked up, got to attend to this, make sure that this is, you know, how it needs to be. Um, that side too, and then yeah, man, it looks like we, we solid. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to work. Um, and then I'll cut y'all back on, uh, probably after the sealer. I won't show y'all me spraying the sealer cause who cares? You know what I'm saying? It looks just like primer as it is what it is. I'll show y'all the sealer, but then I'll show y'all, you know what I'm saying? When I start actually spraying the car, cause we about to lay this thing down wet. So let's go. All right, y'all. There's the sealer. So as you can see, it's all one uniform color. Um, no more black marks, yellow marks, whatever, red marks, whatever color marks. Unfortunately, I did run the sealer a little bit, just a little bit, man. Um, on the back quarter, I ran it a lot, but you know, we'll go ahead and go ahead and uh, take care of that with some um, with some wet sand. Get that all taken care of, um, <clears throat> and then I didn't seal underneath here just because it doesn't necessarily need it. Um, I mean, you're not gonna see up in there. I'll paint in there, obviously, but you know, I gotta run around here as well. Um, I was trying not to run it, man, but that was so difficult, man. Um, got some runs there and we got a ton of runs down here. So um, obviously we gotta like, just do a little light wet sand um get this stuff out and then we'll move on to the color now to my credit i did use the wrong spray tip i used a 1.7 which made that sealer come out so fast it came out really really fast but it's all good man we're gonna get it right we're gonna correct it and then uh we'll be all right guys schoolers the moment we all been waiting for we are optimal temperature range. This is probably like the last little bit that I'll get in order to work within the 60, 70 degree range. We got everything set up. Got my strainer in the cup, got my work light, um, got my shop lights, and then I got my light here um, to wrap around the gun so I can see every inch of this car. Um, like I said, this is, you know, <laughs> I'm a little nervous. I don't know if y'all can tell in my voice because this is, this is it, this is this is what we got here, man. There's no messing up after this point. If I mess up, it just is what it is. Um, like I said, this is not gonna be a perfect paint job. I'm trying to get it as perfect as possible, but you know, it is what it is. We running how we running, we rocking how we rocking. I've done the, the complete best job that I could possibly do on this car with the body work and laying the foundation. It's been months just working on it, getting it solid, getting it situated. And I think we finally got it there. So yeah, like I said, I'm gonna set y'all up. We are gonna finally spray it. This is the moment y'all been waiting for, the moment I've been waiting for. Um, and we just gonna go go rock it out, man. Uh, where's my, my gun at? So I'm shooting with uh, my Iwata. I don't know which model this is, you know what I'm saying? uh kiwami 4 i don't really know whatever um i haven't used this gun at all yet the reason why i haven't used it at all is because i didn't want to have any contaminants in it when i spray i've been spraying with my uh whatever this is i don't really know this gun has done really really well uh but i got the 3m system quick interchange in and out uh turn it already has a filter so we good to go man i think it's already set up ready to spray it feels good 1.4 tip so we should be solid ready to go um i'm gonna go ahead and test my pattern and hopefully uh i don't mess up because this is it y'all this is the final step this final stage so we're gonna lay the foundation and then we're gonna see how it turns out so i'm gonna set y'all up and we're gonna get rocky
All right, y'all. Man, this car fought me, to say the least. Man, to say the least. It fought me, it fought me, it fought me. Um, I'm praying that, you know, we don't have any issues. I'm seeing some potential looking issues, and I'm praying that they're not real issues. Uh, but, I mean, other than that, it looks real great. Like I said, it won't be a perfect paint job. This is the first car I've ever painted in my entire life, but Driving down the road, you're not gonna be able to tell. Uh, we are so close to being done. Uh, we're so close to being done with this paint job. Uh, I ran out of paint for one. I ran out of paint for one. I ran out of activator for two. Um, this eye water spray, great. Phenomenal gun, really, really well, or worked really, really well. This 3M cup was way too small. Um, I had to keep changing and mixing up paint and doing all that kind of stuff. I really almost switched to my Amazon gun because it just kept running out. I kept running out, kept running out, kept having to redo, 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 remix and all that kind of stuff. But we made it to say the least. Uh, I fixed some areas that looked like some tiger striping uh, and they looked like they turned out pretty good. So, I mean, hopefully we don't have any issues, man. It looks like it turned out pretty good. And even if we do, it is what it is. Like I said, driving down the road, you won't even be able to tell even with it sitting there 
just looking at it, you're not gonna be able to really tell there's any issues. I mean, a trained eye, a trained painter can see the issues in this car, but you know, whatever, man, it is what it is. It's a lot better than what it was. And also too, my activator, I ran out of activator and I tried to use the little bit, tiny bit that I had left and it started spewing out a lot differently than, you know what I'm saying, with good activator or whatever, or enough the amount of activator. And I should have just used my other activator that I had, but it is what it is, man. Uh, yeah, so I think it laid down pretty good. It laid down pretty flat. I did get a little bit of trash, but not too much. Um, we'll go ahead and obviously wet sand all that stuff out, but I think it looks pretty good, man to say the least. And at the end of the day, I did it myself. I'm proud of myself. And I have no, like, I guess, apprehension about doing another car like this. There are some things that I will change. There are a lot of things that I will do differently. Um, but at the end of the day, I think I did a really, really solid job. And hey, like I said, man, I'm proud of myself because this paint job would have costed me tens of thousands of dollars to send it to somebody else to do it and you're not gonna be able to tell the difference. Like I said, a trained painter can point out the imperfections and will be able to look at this car and be like, oh, there's an issue, there's an issue, there's an issue. But hey, unless you're just up on the car like that, then you're not gonna be able to tell. And on top of that, like I said, this looks a whole lot better than what it used to look like. And what it used to look like. And we haven't even gotten to the clear yet. So it is what it is. I'm proud of myself. I'm glad that my car is finally painted. It's been a such a long time coming, man. We're gonna wait for the, the blue to dry up. And then after it dries up, we'll go ahead and smack it with some clear. And then, uh, yeah, you know what I mean? We gonna just rock it how it rock. Hopefully it's not too bad. Hopefully there's not tiger striping everywhere. Um, it, I, and granted, I don't think there is, you know what I'm saying? But there are some areas that are a little bit of issues. You know what I'm saying? And granted, worst comes worse. If I really felt like it uh, down the road, I could sand it down and repaint those areas and paint match. Not that big of a deal to me. You know what I'm saying? This is the first time I ever did this and I think it turned out great. So we gonna continue to keep rocking however the car rock. And yeah, so anyways, man, let me go ahead and let this dry up. And you know, like I said, look how straight this thing is, man. Man, oh man, oh man. This is going to be, this side here is going to be the moment of truth just because of the simple fact that I had to do so much doctoring up on this side of the, the car. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just is what it is. I see some potential issues, obviously, but, you know, it is what it is. You know what I mean? All right, y'all. I feel like the paint has had time enough to dry. Um, spent about, probably about a, like an hour or whatever. You know what I mean? Um, letting it dry. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the clear up on here. And then, uh, yeah, so I mean, the recommended wait time is 30 minutes to about an hour. Um, and now we're gonna go ahead and throw the clear on here and finish this thing up. Um, it should look oh, super wet. Um, but like I said, man, I'm like, I'm super thrilled. I can't wait to throw this clear on here because it's going to look immaculate. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and do it real quick.
right, y'all. There it is. That is four coats of clear on there. And I am so, so amazed. Uh, we're obviously not done. It looks like I got to run right there. I kind of knew that was going to happen, to be honest with you, because I kind of stuttered right there on my last and final coat, but it's all good. We'll get it out. Um, we still got a wet sand, you know what I'm saying? And then after, you know, the wet sand, we'll go ahead and do the flow coat. Uh, I got plenty of clear. We're going to go throw four more coats of clear on top of it, and this should be glass. You can see all the orange peel right now, but... Once I go ahead and sand it, all that's going to be gone. So, um, yeah, but anyways, man, it looks like it turned out amazing. Like I said, I didn't give y'all a perfect paint job. I ain't going to hold you and act like, you know what I'm saying, I gave y'all a, a sprayway special or nothing like that. I gave you a grind school garage, you know what I'm saying, paint job. I messed up right here. You can see the little dark spot when I opened up this, uh, the gas cap, I was trying to get up in there, you know what I'm saying? And the overspray got over that, um, or on the car, and it left a dark mark right there. Uh, I'm not tripping too bad on it. Um, it is what it is, you know. We're just gonna keep on rocking it out. There are some, like, uh, pinholes still. Uh, I don't really know where, but, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's hard to really kind of tell, but, you know what I'm saying? Like, there are issues with the paint. I will kind of see if I could put in how this panel looked when I first like started doing this, just because of the simple fact that this panel, a lot of time, effort, energy went into this panel to make it as straight as it is. Um, and it's still not even perfect. You know, this panel should have been cut out and re-welded back in. But unfortunately, I don't know anybody that can do that. And I'm not about to wait on my car to get done. Um, another you know 10 years or whatever down here uh another area i had to really doctor up and it looks fantastic you know what i mean um and then down the door um there's an issue right here there's like a a dent or something like that you can kind of hardly tell i have no idea how i missed that because i wet sanded um and guy coated this thing like twice um actually three times i don't know how i missed that but you know you won't be able to tell you won't be able to see it but i can see it because i know there's something going on here too um and then there's also an issue right here but other than that man this paint job came out amazing and we're still not done we still got a, a lot of work to do <clears throat> excuse me we still got a lot of work to do we still got to wet sand it um, and then after the wet sand flow coat, all that good stuff, four more coats of clear, all that, we got to cut and buff. So, um, this has to stay like this for, I think it's about a week. You know what I'm saying? Any of y'all painters out there, correct me if I'm wrong. I think you got to leave the clear coat on for a, a week, at least a week before you start trying to wet sand it, let this clear harden up and all that kind of good stuff. But man, I ain't going to hold y'all, man. Y'all can see how straight this thing is, man. Um, it's hard to tell because I got the door open, but boy, oh boy, I'll go back to this panel because like I said, I doctored this panel up. Um, like I said, it's hard to see. Let me flip, flip it around. It's real hard to see, man. But anyways, when we get it out into the sun or whatever we got to do, we'll, we'll figure it out. All right, y'all, that's going to do it for this video, man. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, it's been such a long time coming. Uh, we finally made it to the promised land. Uh, we still got to do some stuff to the car, uh, like sand it down, you know what I mean? All that kind of good stuff, wet sand, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, fix some more imperfections. Uh, and we'll get to that. Um, I'll probably do that in a couple of weeks. I don't know how long it's going to take. First of all, we're going to get to the QA1s. We're going to do that, take care of that, get that done. And then um, probably throw the interior together, get everything done there and get the car dialed in. And after everything is said and done, it's all dialed in, the motor's running right, uh, my trans cooling lines, all that stuff is good. Then we'll go ahead and get to the west end and do all that, knock that out, get more clear on here, and the car should be glass. So 
Um, we still got a lot of work to do, but the car is now officially ready for the summer. Um, I won't say officially ready for the summer, but at least it's painted and it looks phenomenal. Um, I couldn't be more happy with the way it turned out, man. Just sitting here looking at it, it's just like, man, I'm in like shock and awe with how it turned out. Um, and I hope that this inspires some of y'all to get out in y'all's garage and try to do the same thing, man, because uh, I know it's a lot of work. I know it took a while. Um, I know it's a lot of time and effort and energy and stuff like that, but it's, man, it is worth it. It is worth it, man. And what do y'all think about the color? I hope y'all like the color, man, because, man, and I've been seeing a lot of blue cars going around, um, for you know lately and you know i'm kind of like dang man but i mean every color out there has been used you know what i'm saying you can't really you know fret on the the type of colors there's only so many colors out there but i've been seeing a lot of blue cars floating out there lately if you've seen my videos man you know how long i've had this color i've had this color sitting here um in my garage for months i ordered the color months ago when i did my color reveal i didn't actually show you guys the color but i showed you guys uh the actual name of the color and the actual picture of what the color would look like and you know what i'm saying it is what it is you know what i'm saying but um yeah man i hope y'all enjoyed it man i always appreciate the love the support appreciate y'all rocking with me man we are finally there y'all we're this close to getting this car on the road and sliding you know what i'm saying hitting a, a block or two uh we right there we right there so many people told me i wasn't gonna make it but yo they done underestimated your boy right here you know what i'm saying like the epitome of my life is grinding that's why my channel is called grind school that's why what we do man all i do is i wake up every single morning you know what i'm saying like five six in the morning i get to it every single morning on whatever it is that I do, you know what I mean? Um, I'm working, I'm always working, I never stop working. So, you know what I mean? Like, if you doubted me, it is what it is, but we get into it. So anyways, man, um, go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification. I reiterate, hit that subscribe button, man, because this is not the last car that I will be painting. There are mistakes on this car. I'm not gonna say that there's not any mistakes. There are mistakes on this car. This is the first car that I've ever painted. I will do things differently next time and I will continue to paint my own projects. So, you know what I'm saying? Hit that subscribe button, man. If you wanna see more stuff like this, just let me know and we will get to it. So anyways, man, always remember, work hard so you can live free.